Have you been injured in a car crash? Injured in a slip and fall? Hounded by your neighbor's vicious dog, then you want me. I'm Stephen Heller of Heller and Ponzi. And if you're injured or you woke up dead, you've already earned money. So pick up the phone and dial 1-800-LAWYER. That's 1-800-LAWYER. <laughs> How is that water buffalo practicing law and I'm sitting on six months of unpaid bills? Hey, I'm young, I graduated third in my class at law school, and I've got a brand new briefcase. But somehow, that hippo with a comb over has his own firm and my girlfriend. Well, he doesn't have her. She answers his phone. Lucy, I'm home! That's her, Rosie. She's the only reason I eat and smile nowadays. She's been after me to join her at 1-800-CHEAT-THE-SYSTEM. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm Peter uh, Morelli. Productive. Hi. Very, very productive. I have great news. What? Keller and Ponce is hiring. Oh, yeah? Who do they have in mind? It's for you. You apply for the job. They're bottom feeders. <laughs> really? I, they, they advertise for clients. They prey on people when they're at their worst. They provide a monthly income, Peter. Oh, well, sure, for you. You're an artist. Uh, you answer phones while you pursue what's really important to you. Law is what's important to me, and I'd rather be caught dead than work for guys like Heller and Ponzi. Those guys would do anything to get a case. Hell, they, they probably pay clients to sign up. Well, how did you miss your daily trip to the mailbox today? Uh, I didn't. I was merely avoiding it. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Junk. Junk. <laughs> junk. Oh, God. What is it? It's my student loan bill. Then how does Heather and Ponzi look now? Like a godsend. Okay. All right. If... If I decided to work there, would we have to keep us a secret around the office? Absolutely, Poppy Chulo. By day, we are co-workers. But at night, we are red-hot lovers. <laughs> One eight hundred lawyer, hold please. One eight hundred lawyer, hold please. One eight hundred lawyer, what are you looking at? Hold please. One eight hundred lawyer. Excuse me, I bruise real easy. Look at me. Have a seat. Do I have a case? I said have a seat. I mean, look at me. I'm bruised all over. I said have a seat. One eight hundred lawyer, hold please. One eight hundred car crash. Hold please. <laughs> So, Rosie, is tonight the night you finally make all my fantasies come true? Yes, Adam. Tonight is the night. Yeah. Meet me at Avenue D and Houston at midnight. Uh -huh. I'll be dressed in leather and curling a whip. <laughs> you are such a tease. You really turned me on. A feather yeah. floating in the Hudson River turns you on, Aaron. <laughs> in case I have been a little unclear, I am not interested. Oh. So... Julie, is tonight the night you finally... Can it, Aaron? You're supposed to be the deliverer, so stop chasing me and start delivering. I already settled 68K today. You're insatiable. I like that, no woman. <laughs> I need another lawyer around here. Call these candidates before Stephen hires his nephew. Oh, no, 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 no! Mr. Aaron, I cannot handle a single file more. As you can see already, I have several hundreds of them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Randalou. I didn't realize that you couldn't handle your share of the business around here. Look, I'll just take these files right back to Julie, tell her you can't handle your job. No, no, I can handle it. Please. Mine. No, me. No, mine. No, me. Mine. No, me, please. Oh, no. One hundred litigate. No, I'm sorry, we do not handle those type of cases. You might want to try one hundred bad faith. One hundred bad faith. Hold, please. Um, uh, I'm Peter Morelli. I'm here for the job interview. I will bust you in. Julie, the first candidate is here. The mistress will be out in a second. Like the man who's getting the job. You, come. My office. 
Any others? No, he's the only one still available. There were over 150 resumes in that pile. Certainly, you're not doubting my ability to do my job because I keep these phones under control all day long, Julie. Therefore, I can only assume that you're questioning me because of my Hispanic heritage. Which is and I'm not buying it. Okay. I called him in because his resume was on the top of the pile and I got busy. But check it out. I think it's what you're looking for. Maybe you're right. Don't disturb us unless it's an absolute emergency. <laughs> 100 hang mail. Julie, it's Mr. Heller on the line. Stephen! How's my girl Friday? I am interviewing a candidate for the entry-level position we talked about. Did I approve that? Yes, you approve that, Stephen. Don't yank my DK hemline. <laughs> yes, I will tell everyone. Peter, let's be frank. You went to New York Law School, and you were in moot court. Why do you want to work here? Well, I've seen the advertisements on TV and on billboards throughout the city. I would be honored to work at such a high-profile firm such as... Heller and Ponzi. In other words, you're desperate. Right. <laughs> that puts us on a pretty even playing field. I need lawyers who are willing to work long, hard hours, take on an unreasonable amount of cases, and get nothing in return. You make it hard to resist. And no complaining about it. Lord knows I do enough of that for all of us. That old man gives me two lawyers to handle 1,500 cases. How do I do it, Peter? With finesse and style. I can see that. What else do you see? Uh, I see uh, an intelligent, powerful attorney who runs a tight ship. Anything else? A beautiful woman. You flatter me. <laughs> Keep it up. You're hired. Uh, Effective immediately. Plaintiff's attorney. These are for you. Expect more. But we haven't even talked terms and money, benefits, upward mobility. Expect less. 500 a week to start. Five? Five. What? Is unemployment paying more these days? $380? <laughs> you people settled my case for $300? You're nothing but a bunch of cabbage heads. All of you. Have a seat. I'll tell you something else. Everyone, this is Heller and Ponzi's newest slave, Peter Morelli. Hi. I'm Randall Chowdhury, but you can call me Randy. And don't hesitate to ask for anything you may need. I mean anything. Down, boy. He goes to my church, not yours. How do I am? So what, is my opinion shop liver around here? Just look at him as another place to dump your loser cases. Oh. Welcome aboard. Come on, Rosie, where's your team spirit, huh? Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> well, you're working now and you don't know where it's going to lead you. Yeah, yeah, I do. Right to the ethics committee on disbarment. What are you talking about? Aaron gave me the Rodriguez file. Oscar, Jesus, Patrick. That's the one. Basically, Aaron blew the time to file for arbitration. Look at this. He tried to forge a signature and then backdate the certified mail card. The clients expect the lawyers to be the shark. The only people offended by the lack of ethics are those who never need anything done. Well, that doesn't make it right. <laughs> look, look, I'll just tell Aaron what I found, and I'm sure he'll want to rectify the error. Oh, of course. <laughs> Come on, mistakes happen all the time. That's why we have insurance. Don't blow this job, Nyoni. It's the only contact I have. You better get used to the load. It doesn't get much better. Mm. Yeah, thanks for the sage advice. Oh, if it's sage advice you want, I've got some. Learn to live your life within the storm, and you will have weathered the storm. That's great. Thank you. Oh, anytime.
Hello? How's your first day? That's better now. Gotta go. You're making me jealous, Rosie. And you're making me wish I hadn't eaten such a heavy breakfast. <laughs> I got any mail? What's wrong? No female? Oh. Enter. Hey, Aaron. You look concerned, Peter. What's on your mind so early in your career at Heller and Ponzi? Uh, the Rodriguez file. Oh, Oscar? He's a great guy. Pete on a <laughs> electric fence, burned his little pipe. No, not, not uh, Oscar. Patrick. <laughs> well, you never mailed the demand putting them on notice of the arbitration. So, mail it. Well, I, I can't. It's past the due date. Peter, dates. They're just... Dates. <laughs> they don't mean anything. Look, February 21st, June 21st. Whatever. The point is, it's mail. But you expect me to, to backdate this bogus card just to cover your mistake? My mistake? Peter, you have some nerve coming in here and pointing fingers, accusing, blaming. That's your file, not mine. Deal with it. Well, you're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely. I, I guess I'll just show these signatures to the Bar Association uh, and let see... Let me what... see that, huh? Show what to them? Look, Peter, you do whatever it is you have to do. Okay, okay, well, what I have to do is return this file to you and tell you that I refuse to compromise my ethics just to bail you out of a jam. I don't even know you. Fine. Fine. Look, Pete, you're right. You go, you do what you have to do. And I'll do what I have to do. You'll admit your mistake? Call the malpractice insurance carrier? Of course not, Peter. How would that look? No, I'm thinking of taking that file to Julie so she can fire your ass.